Welcome back everyone, Crypto Patrick here, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the new partnership with Ripple and MoneyGram. So MoneyGram is a huge partner, it's really favorable news. This is a, a really big announcement guys, and I want to get into this and show you guys what's going down in the market. So today, when we, if, for anyone new to this channel, definitely subscribe and like my videos. And um, there's, I do a lot of giveaways. I do like a Ripple giveaways, Litecoin giveaways, and I make a lot of Ripple videos. But that's because it's doing really well right now. It's up 11.94%. There's a lot of red going on. But since that MoneyGram news came out, we're going to get into that in a second. There's just a lot of favorable news. And so if you look at Ripple right now, or look at the whole market cap, we're at... 677 billion dollars over the last 24 hours we're at a 48 billion dollar trade volume which is pretty cool bitcoin dominance is at 33 percent when we look at ripple right here we're at two dollars and four cents this is at like 1 a.m on uh friday morning the trade volume is six million dollars four hundred ninety eight thousand we're still have a, a circulating supply of 38,000 there's still about 38 there's still about 80 billion dollars in ripple so when we come to ripple let's just kind of take a look at what's going on it's up 11.66 percent that's really good you guys it was about if you look earlier today it was about 220 i think it went to 235 as the highest and then on binance it was a little bit higher so let's take a look real quick Okay, so if we look right here, this is on Coin Market Cap, guys. It's about 225, and then it went down to 213, to 189, now 210. Now it's kind of stabilizing at uh, 206. This is really big news, guys. I mean, this um, this MoneyGram is a, da a Dallas-based company. It uh, off they're they're partnering with Ripple because it's lower cost. If you go to uh, their Twitter, you can see that Brad Garlinghouse, he's the CEO of Ripple. He's actually posting a lot on what is going on in the market. And let me just read you guys a little bit what's going on here. So basically, there's about $600 billion in cross-border payments. That's like the potential of what can happen with Ripple and these um, cross-border, these like these transactions that you can like send without waiting like 15 minutes for MoneyGram or like, you know, three to four days that can happen with MoneyGram or 15 minutes. This happens in three to four seconds. Money transfer, money transfer companies allow people to send cross-border payments. Unfortunately, the current model requires money transfer companies to be pre-funded across the globe. This process makes payments costly and slow, which is a headache for companies and their customers. So basically, XRP solves this problem. You guys can read this right here on Ripple.com. But one of the things is XRP allows MoneyGram to solve the age problem of liquidity, where most financial institutions face saving time and money. So customers will be able to send funds in real time. Everything is happening in real time. You can FaceTime in real time. I'm basically doing this video in real time. I did a live stream yesterday. You can do everything in real time. So with, with banks and when they don't, when they're not keeping up to speed with what's happening in the real world, then it becomes a big problem. And uh, Ripple, you know, that's why I think Ripple is a long-term uh, hold. I think there's a lot of partners that are about to come out with Ripple. MoneyGram will access XRP through a native digital assets. And use um, their payment flows through X Rapid. So X Rapid is part of their, their system. What's more is financial institutions will be able to send on demand payments, reduce cost and fees that customers will receive real time insights to their statuses on their payments. So this is huge, guys. Ripple strives to improve cross border cross border payments. Those cross border payments are you know that's like this is why I think it's going to go up to five bucks in the course for in the in the first quarter. Because we're going to see PayPal, we're going to see, um, we're going to see basically Western Union. I think with once once we see this proof of use, I definitely I think Coinbase is going to jump on board, and um, you're going to see a lot more strategic partnerships. Also, there's going to be um, in the fourth quarter, Ripple's going to release um, their more probably a lot more bank partners. We're going to see the price of Ripple keep going up. That's why I I have predicted five bucks. Some people in the comments are like, oh, Ripple's going down, all these things. Dude, you guys can't panic sell. Everyone panic sells. Ripple is a long-term use. It has potential. It, it's there's a lot going on. People people think it's not a cryptocurrency and whatever, but the thing is, it has it, it has a real-world use. People use it. 
Ripple is focused on inefficiencies and problems that exist in cross-border payments, regardless of whether those payments originate with a bank, corporate, or another financial institution. The payment problem exists doesn't affect banks. It affects companies like MoneyGram, which people get money to ones they care about. So I've sent my, I've sent money to my friends in England, and I remember like I paid like fifteen bucks. You know, if this is only you know a fraction of a penny, then this is way better. You know, the the digital um, assets like Ripple settle three look at in three seconds or less. Our clients can save money quickly. Yeah, there's this is just a lot of good news going on, guys. If you look at right here. Ripple, there's a little bit of hate going on. Is Ripple a wolf in sheep's clothing? What is causing Ripple in the market? Some people say that, like, central, the basically it's more like central banks. Some people are saying it's not a cryptocurrency. But my opinion is that's kind of just like the haters that are happening. I, I've been reading a lot of research on it, and I think that Ripple is going to keep doing really well. This is some more unfavorable news, but I think, yeah, I think Ripple is. Gonna have, I think Ripple is going to be good with all this positive news coming out. We're going to see a lot more partnerships. You know, Michael Harrington obviously invested $100 million in a hedge fund that uses Ripple. There's Google Ventures that used uh, that came out, and they're using it now too. You know, Western Union and PayPal are definitely going to be next. They're probably one of those two other money transfer firms. Just be educated, guys. Make a, make a good decision. Be sure. Try not to sell – Sell off your Ripple like right away. I mean, I sold off some Ripple, but I, I'm basically I think I hold like 50 Ripple right now in my uh, in one of my wallets. So yeah, just just be educated. Make sure you guys do the right thing, and let's take a look at what's going on in the market right now. Okay, so Ripple announced partnerships with MoneyGram to speed up the fiat settlements, blockchain payments. Gateway announced Ripple, a new partnership with the service of MoneyGram, in a blog post. These that basically says that uh, the CEO Brad Garland House said the payment problem doesn't just affect banks; it affects companies like MoneyGram. We just read about that. Ripple has unveiled several new partnership deals in recent weeks. In 2018, the value of XRP skyrocketed to highs barely imaginable just months ago. While the rate of appreciation drew no shortage of warning or criticism, the, refu the refusal of Coinbase to add the altcoin reportedly predicted a 30% downturn last week. Yeah, we saw basically that the Korean won was inflating the price. Coin market cap adjusted the price. We also saw that uh, Coinbase didn't add it yet, so that all hurt the price, and that's why Ripple went down. But with this more favorable news coming out and these partnerships, we're going to see it rise back up. I mean, maybe three this week, but I think by the first quarter, we are going to see five with more partnerships coming out. That's my uh, prediction, guys. And um, if anyone wants to learn about how to make money with Bitcoin mining, I just want to show you guys a couple things real quick. Let me uh, pull it up over here. This are, these are all just things I look at during the day over here, but I just made this video, how to make 10000 a month from Bitcoin mining, and I had Sean Logan on. He's a uh, one of he's made about a quarter million dollars through mining bit club through mining bitcoin at bit club network and i'm about to make a video on that too because uh bitcoin network is now gonna pay their customers with bitcoin cash so bitcoin cash is gonna get i think bitcoin cash is about to do really well i'm gonna i'm gonna make a video on it on the on a new announcement but bit club owns about three percent of the hash power worldwide for mining so if you guys look at that video there's a youtube comment picker sometimes i pick um, hash Bitcoin hash power distribution. I want to show you guys something real quick. So you can see for all the Bitcoin that like mined, this is BitClub Network right here. Oh, they have 1.9 percent, but it's like that's part of all the Bitcoin mined, and they're also going to be mining Bitcoin Cash now, and they do Ethereum and Z Classic. So this is probably one of the best companies in existence to mine. You guys should all watch that video. Get yourself involved in the mining pool. It's about $500. It's a $100 membership, but you can you can join a pool for $500, which is a thousand days, and you can potentially mine for life. I'm also mining Litecoin right now on Genesis Mining, which is, let me show you if I have it right here, guys. I'm gonna show you some of my payouts. I just started not that long ago, but I think I have it up right here. Let me just take a look. I have a lot of tabs open, as you can see. Um, 
Yeah, okay, here's my Genesis mining dashboard. So I'm starting to get paid out Litecoin, Litecoin, Litecoin. Um, you can dedicate your mining allocation. This is for Genesis. And I'm also de I'm dedicating 100% of my efforts to Litecoin right now. And that's when I do giveaway videos. I kind of put that on there too. But yeah, this is just a quick update video, guys. I, I think uh, by the first quarter, we're going to see definitely with all this more proof of use and all these partnerships, I, I think we're going to see a $5 ripple in the first quarter of 2018. That's my prediction. You know, don't hold me to it. I know in the comments people like, like to bash me sometimes and say that, but you know what? Like, I give away Ripple to people. I'm just trying to like spread news out there that's favorable and trying to show people good mining, you know, operations where they can uh, actually make some profits, like kind of what I'm doing and my friend Sean's doing. So definitely check these out, guys. If you're a new subscriber, definitely hit that like button. You know, put a comment below. You'll have a chance to win some Ripple on every single Ripple video. I, I give away some Ripple. So um, I'll, I'll do that this week. I'll do another update video on a giveaway. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'm going to end it with a song right here. Let's definitely start a conversation down below, though. Here's What's So Not. Peace.